air signs is Nicola. So let's see what messages we have. This is for April the 7th, 2020. This is for Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Messages guidance for Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, April the 7th, 2020. <sighs> Give me guidance for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. <laughs> Taurus, we have Angel of Families. It says the angels surround both you and your family at the moment. What messages do we have for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? All right. We have Angel of Expression. It says, speak your truth and express yourself clearly. All right. Let's see what messages we have for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We got two. So the first one we have is Angel of Self-Worth. It says, you are currently undervaluing yourself. It's time to regain your self-worth. And we have Angel of Manifestation. It says your efforts, determination, and perseverance have paid off. The underlying message we have is Angel of Joyfulness. It says something wondrous and magical is about to happen. So let's see what messages we have. What messages do we have? The Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Messages, guidance. For Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What messages, what guidance do we have? For Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is for April the 7th, 2020. Messages, guidance for Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What messages, what guidance do we have? For Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Alright. We've got the King of Swords. This could be some decisions that are about to be made. Actually, the King of the King of Swords, the decisions already been made. Once you get to the King of Swords, you know the path that you're going to take now because you've mastered your thoughts, you've put everything in order. Some of you guys, you've had a lot of patience. Now you're ready to make some decisions. Are you ready to take action? Someone's had some patience. They feel like it's time for them to take action on what they know. Ace of Pentacles here. This could have to do with a brand new life. Three of Cups here. Something that could be a celebration. King of Wands. This is a masculine energy here. Nine of Cups here. Mm, okay. With the Six of Cups. So someone's allowing their concerns to fade away with a past situation. I feel like someone's focused on a new life. Air signs got path of new discovery. This person here, whoever this is, is focused on the new life. I got an air sign and a fire sign here. Um, I feel like with the nine of cups, especially with the star card being the outcome of um, the air sign reading and the nine of cups being in the subconscious, I feel like the energy is still kind of reciprocal because this is about gaining what it is that you desire by releasing what you don't. So with this king of swords, I really feel like someone is choosing to really move into their own true happiness by releasing something of the past, no longer in the space of romance, romanticizing past memories or past situations. So we have the ace of pentacles. We got the nine of pentacles here. That's ten pentacles. So someone here, you may have gained your independence from a previous commitment. You're confident about moving toward a new life. And the nine of pentacles was the, I think, the first card out for the air signs. With the eight of swords and high priestess, you know. Okay, knight of swords, eight of swords, high priestess. You know that there are some responsibilities or there is some something that is causing an interference with you underneath of, underneath this all you know something is causing an interference with the, you being able to move forward so i feel like you're detaching from that commitment and i feel like you're gaining your independence pushing you into a new life something magician that you've manifested page of wands this is good news i feel like you've manifested a whole new life here you're focused on your happiness True happiness at that. If not true happiness, it's true love. Because that's what the Nine of Cups represents. True happiness, true love, material happiness, love. So Three of Cups here in the past energy could have been dealing with with the King of King of Swords and King of Wands. You could have been dealing with multiple people. I feel like you could be cutting someone away. So that you can focus on who makes you happy, who or what makes you happy. Nine Wands, you're overcoming this. Some of you guys are overcoming a external energy um six of wands moving toward victory establishing your strength to a sword i feel like for some of you guys you could be xing something 
<laughs> death seven of swords so this is a transformation there's an end to there's an end to uh, it looks like either deception. So if there was multiple people here, there's an end to deception. You're cutting someone out. Um, very much focused on being happy. Very much focused on moving toward happiness. Okay, then. So we have the King of Wands. Why is this King of Wands here? We have the Star card here with the Emperor. So I feel like you focused on the one. Are you focused on gaining control of your dreams? Gaining control of what it is that you desire? You're focused on getting on the right path is what it looks like. It seems like you're focused on getting on the right path. Um, with the eight of wands and the three of pentacles under here, I feel like you're moving away from some sort of partnership. If not a partnership, you're moving away from something that you have at one time was in cooperation with meaning you were investing your time your energy your money into something and you're choosing to move away from that because you're choosing to remove that interference from your life again to focus on what makes you happy and for some of you guys the interference may not be anything like i said with the air signs it may not be at, at it may not be an actual person it may be an energy it might not be an actual Thing, but it may just be your own mindset or your own energy that was creating uh, another type of, of entity within a connection or, or within your life that was blocking you from your true happiness. Whatever that was, whatever that thing, energy, person was that was blocking you from really pursuing your happiness, you're detaching from that previous commitment to that and you're choosing to be free of that, choosing to be independently and independently and confidently moving forward that's what i'm saying i think I so with the nine of cups here why is this nine of cups here shit we have the five of cups here with the knight of yeah so some of you guys i feel like you regret not taking action here empress here um taurus libra energy you know what's crazy this is the only sign that i see I have the King of Swords, which is Gemini. I have the King of Wands, which is Emperor. Actually, I'm tripping. I do have other signs here. We got Aquarius here. We got Emperor here. We got Virgo and Gemini here. Gemini twice. And we have Taurus and Libra here. Um, but I have two men. So I don't know if this is one man that is balancing some polarities with that is balancing some energies within themselves, um, balancing their mental and their balancing their mental energies and as well as their passions or desires in order for them to really move toward what makes them happy. Nine ones again, I feel like someone's finding their strength to kind of make some moves within their life to allow some things to flourish. I feel like in the past you could have made some unwise decisions and I feel like for a lot of you guys there's some regret surrounding that but I feel like you're overcoming that regret and you're really in the space of wanting to be happy so we got six cups here <laughs> look at my clock it's two 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 <laughs> look at there so yeah you're on the right path is what it looks like so we have the six of cups here why is the six of cups here why is the six of cups here there's almost a longing here. Like some of you guys could have been longing to be happy. Like in L-O-N-G-I-N-G. -I -N -G, because you probably can't tell when I say it. Because of this thick ass country accent. But it's, it's like you've been longing to kind of. You see how she's just like. oh, You've been like wanting to have something that makes you happy. Or fulfills you. And I feel like for a lot of you guys. You're choosing to go toward that. You're choosing to really move into that energy this may not even be new energy this could be something of your past that you're just longing to have or longing to you know hold and you're really in the space of focusing on that so six of cups here why is it six of cups here Ooh we have the four of swords here with the queen of cups some of you guys are retreating from a past situation here four of swords is retreat three of swords knight of swords shit me Three of Swords, Knight of Swords, well, there we go. Three of Swords, Knight of Swords, and the Hangman. So some of you guys, <laughs> Three of Swords, Knight of Swords, Hangman. Some of you guys really are changing your perspective. You could be in a space of healing from a situation and deciding to kind of take action moving forward. There is a retreat that is happening. Some of you guys, again, I said you're retreating from a partnership that created some interference some of you guys are in a space of retreating from a partnership three of pentacles some sort of cooperation that made you that interfered with you i feel like you're very focused on allowing your concerns to fade away because you want to be happy you want to be happy 
happy, happy, joy, joy. So I feel like you're acting on what you know, what you feel, mastering those energies and kind of moving toward again what makes you happy. So let's see what energy, I mean, let's, let's see what messages we have. What messages or what guidance do we have moving forward from our earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, so I'm going to rise these. What messages, what guidance do we have moving forward from our earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, so I'm going to rise Venus. What guidance do we have for Taurus? Ooh, Taurus. We got potential and salvation. So Taurus, either somebody's potentially coming to save you or you are someone's potential salvation moving forward here. All right. All right. I think you just need to be still, Taurus. We got stillness under here. Just be still. All right. So let's see what messages we have. For Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Moving forward. Messages, guidance for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All right, Virgo. We have wisdom. We also got this for, I feel like, Libra, I think. Um, I feel like you need to follow your own wisdom. Follow the wisdom that you have within yourself. What messages do we have for Capricorn? Capricorn, we got humor. So I feel like e humor usually represents either seeing the bright side of a situation, like seeing the, hum the humorous side of a situation, but it also can represent seeing things clearly, meaning seeing things realistically. So some of you guys could see something realistically and find humor in it. Right now, I really think you're in a space of kind of taking action, Nike, having that ambition, just do it. You know what I'm saying? That's all I got. Until next time, y'all.